vehicles. Get ready to drive off, fly off, or sail off with the vehicles of the world. Hovercraft are also known as ACVs, air cushioned vehicles. What's that? The bottom of a bouncy castle? You'll soon see, Lily. Ah, it's a hovercraft. A vehicle that can travel over water. How can it do that? The hovercraft has very strong fans which push air downwards and that lifts the craft off the ground. So it can float. And because the craft is floating, there's less friction. Friction? Friction is when two things rub together, creating a force, which slows down the thing that's moving. When it floats, the friction is less. Whoa! So the hovercraft, or ACV, air cushion vehicle, can move smoothly over water and land. And sometimes even over ice. It's like a giant floating cushion. It would be fun to travel around the world on a floating cushion. Hovercraft can be used for different things, like travel, for fun and sightseeing, and even sea rescues. Now I know a job I'm going to do when I grow up. I'm going to be an ACRVD. A what, Lily? <laughs> an air cushioned rescue vehicle driver. Feeding time! Formula One car! Formula One cars are racing cars that go very fast! I just love Formula One! Meow! One day, I'm going to be a racing driver. That'd be exciting, Lily. Maybe we could race in the same car. No room for passengers. Formula One cars only have one seat. Okay, ready to race? Wait! Formula One drivers wear a safety helmet. Okay, ready? Wait! How fast do Formula One cars go? Some can go three times faster than a cheetah. That's fast. Does the car's shape help it go fast? It does. Formula One cars are aerodynamically designed. That means the air doesn't slow them down like a normal car. The shape even helps them when they turn quickly around corners. Ready to race now, Lily? I was born ready. Ready? Set? Go! Meow! Feeding time! Submersible! Submersibles are vehicles that travel and explore underwater. I wonder what it's like deep down at the bottom of the sea. We could find out, Gorby, with one of these. <gasps> what is it? It's a submersible. Submersibles can travel underwater. How can it go so deep? Submersibles have a ballast tank. When the ballast tank is filled with water, 
the submersible goes downwards. What do you think happens when the ballast tank is emptied, Corby? It goes upwards again. Look, there are people inside. When people go underwater, the pressure or weight of water above them gets too heavy and stops them going any further. Submersibles protect people from water pressure so they can explore places divers cannot go. What are those? Some submersibles have mechanical arms that can pick things up as they explore underwater. Submersibles can show us places and creatures we would never get to see otherwise. So that's what it looks like at the bottom of the sea. Thanks, Submersible! Feeding time! Maglev Train Maglevs are the world's fastest trains. Why are they called maglev trains? Maglev is short for magnetic levitation, Marco. Levitation is another word for floating. So they're trains that float in the air? Yes, and magnets make them float. How do they do that? Sometimes when two magnets get close, they push each other away. That's how maglev trains use magnets like these underneath the tracks. There are many countries with maglev trains, but the fastest ones are in China. It can go three times faster than a normal train. How does it go so much faster? This normal train is going pretty fast. However, there's friction since it's running on the tracks and this friction slows it down. But because the maglev floats, it doesn't touch the tracks. No touching means less friction. And less friction means it's a faster train. Whoa, look at it go. I can't wait to ride one of those. 